Seeds can remain inert and apparently lifeless for many years and then spring into life when the right conditions arrive. Not all seeds can do that. Some will die after two or three years, no matter what the conditions. But others are able to remain alive for astonishing periods. One of the most remarkable examples comes from an archaeological site here in Japan. 2,000 years ago, a small settlement with buildings like these stood at a place called Asada. The people who lived here in such houses had only just begun to master the art of working metal. They were also among the first people in Japan who knew how to plant and reap rice and they stored their harvests in small pits in the ground. In one of those pits, they found some seeds, like these. These are rice grains. They're black and obviously dead. But this is a magnolia seed. Scientists took away that strange ancient seed, planted it, and it grew. At first, it looked like Magnolia cobus, the wild species that still grows in Japanese woods. Then, in its tenth year, it produced its first flower buds. These, when they opened, would reveal exactly what it was. Magnolia cobus today typically has six petals on its flowers, but this flower has an extra petal, seven, and this has eight. Is this a consequence of its long sleep? Or were all Magnolia cobus 2,000 years ago variable like this? Or could it be that this is an ancient species that has only survived as that one lone seed in an archaeological ruin? It's too early to know the answer to those questions, but whatever it is, this is surely a marvellous example of the fact that plants with their seeds are not only extraordinary travellers in space, but incomparable travellers in time.